This is Rabbi Yehuda Levin for the second video dealing with Shmuli Pateach. As I was saying, in his book, I believe that he makes factual misportrayals of the Jewish philosophy of intimacy. I'll give you one example. The venues he suggests are suitable for intimacy. This is just one example of the fact that he has no idea what holiness is all about. There are other more graphic areas where he stretches as far as he can for leniencies. The whole concept of holiness is beyond Botev's ken. He will answer he's trying to reach Gentiles or irreligious Jewish hedonists to elevate them. Was that more important to him or was the amount of money his book contract would provide, the exposure he would get and the self-promotion? The rabbis of the Talmud speak about the concept of Ein Dorshim Ba'arayas, that one doesn't lecture about areas of intimacy in public. But Teach is a picture-perfect example of what the rabbis had in mind. Can this pseudo-scholar, after all, nobody accuses him of spending his days deeply involved in Torah study. For Alan Combs, maybe, or for Michael Jackson, he's a Torah scholar. But can this person, with his small level of scholarship, can he decide what to present to the world, what leniencies to present, what's important on such a sensitive subject, which is the Holy of Holies. You know, the Lubavitch community embraces everyone. And yet, Shmuley Botea, who considers himself a Lubavitcher, is basically persona non grata in many Lubavitch circles. I've heard this from Lubavitchers. I think this might be their official approach. That doesn't mean that nobody talks to him, but he's really not welcomed by many. They've basically de facto excommunicated him. His children learn in a co-ed school, or at least they did in New Jersey, not something for a, a, a regular Lubavitcher, if you will. So perhaps the Lubavitchers understand something if they embrace the whole world, but they reject Shmuley Bateach, and they're embarrassed by him. Uh, perhaps they understand something, and that's why it's not appropriate for Yeshiva Derech HaTorah in Brooklyn to be honoring um, Shmuley Bateach. I uh, would like to address uh, uh, another, uh, just another issue to give you an example of Mr. Bateach's learning Torah in, in a false way. This is called in the Talmud, Megala Ponem B'Torah Shalom Kalacha, when someone in falsely imputes explanations or things to the Torah, and it's a most grievous offense. Mr. Bateach claims in his books that it says abomination many times throughout the Holy Writ, and therefore, when it says abomination by homosexuality, it's really not a severe thing. He's trying to downplay it. The word abomination does not mean anything when it's used in biblical writ. This itself is beyond ignorance. It's, it's beyond disparaging the Torah. It's really absolutely ro wrong. And the explanation which I offered to Mr. Bateach, because he does need instruction, I explained to him in our second radio program, that there are various areas that the, the scripture uses the word abomination, to'eva. The worst kind of sacrifice might be referred to as to'eva, animal sacrifice. The worst kind of speaking slander might be referred to as abomination. And in terms of sexual indiscretions, the fact that the Torah uses specifically by homosexuality that terminology of abomination that is an indication of how severe the infraction is. This is a very simple explanation for somebody who has a certain amount of scholarship, of Torah scholarship, under, under his belt. But this doesn't fit in with Shmuley Bateh's um, worldview. He wants to promote the idea that homosexuality is, is, is not such a terrible thing. He indicates himself that he has close family members who suffer from this particular situation. And he's so spewed in favor of the homosexual agenda and leaning over backwards for them. Uh, this is another reason why Shmuley Bateach, uh, at the sycophant, does not deserve to be honored or recognized by the Orthodox community. Please pass on this video to others and join me for the next in this series.